Hey, what's up? My name is Melinda. I'm a Sephora beauty director, and I recently got an absurdly chic lipstick I've been obsessed with, and I wanna show you how I've been wearing it in different ways. Three different ways you can wear a lipstick and create different looks, but using the same one lipstick. It's a great way to extend the use of a lipstick, get the most bang for your buck, and all of the above. So let me show you how I've been rocking this one. But first, I just think the history of makeup is so cool and I feel like every time we mention it here, we always go off in the comments and you all love it. So we were kind of looking at the history of lipstick. Okay, so did you know that lipstick-like makeup has actually been around for over 5,000 years? Women in Mesopotamia used to actually take semi-precious stones, crush them up, mix them with beeswax, and that's how they would create lip color. Different kind of luxury. So fast forward to the Roman Empire and women were no longer the only people wearing lipstick. Men started to wear lipstick as a symbol of wealth because only the upper class really had access to it. But little did they know, and we know now, that a lot of those formulas actually contained mercury, which is definitely not considered clean at Sephora. And finally, the first solid lipstick was actually created in 936 AD, AKA a very long time ago. And that's what brings us here today to talk about lipstick. All right, so this is my baby that I was talking about. I'm so obsessed with how beautiful it is. To be honest with you, it reminds me of my grandma's lipstick, which I think is why I love it so much, but like so modern and chic of a version. So this is from Gucci and this is the Rouge à Lèvre Matte Lipstick and this shade is called Goldie Red. All right, so for look number one, we're just going for a wash of color, kind of like a stain. You've heard about lip stains, right? You can totally do that with a lipstick. All right, so I'm just gonna take the bullet and I'm gonna press it on the lip just lightly and I kind of do a tapping motion. There is no science to this. You can't really do it wrong. You just wanna stay within the line of your lip and you should be good. But it's the tapping motion that's gonna do it for you because you don't wanna get too much pigment. And we're trying to make the most out of our one lipstick so you don't wanna waste product. Have to wipe it off. So once you get a little bit on there, you can take your ring finger and just some padding. One thing I do notice is sometimes with the bottom of my lip, I'll forget to bring it all the way to this corner. You wanna make sure, especially with this wash of color, you don't forget. When you're using a liner and all of that, it's very easy to make sure you fill your whole lip. When you're using your finger, you just wanna pay a little extra attention. All right, so once you get that wash of color, you can see it's just really pretty, it's really natural, and this will last all day. Honestly, it does for me, unless I eat something like really greasy. I love myself some pizza, and sometimes that'll take it off, but it's such an easy touch up, because again, you just pat it on, tap it out, and you're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna step it up a notch, and we're gonna go to our second look, where basically I'm gonna incorporate a lip brush, and that's it. So same lipstick. I'm gonna use this Sephora Collection number 85 Pro Lip Brush. I really like this one because it has a nice point to it. You can get definition if you need. Here, we're just gonna amp up the color a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'm just gonna pick it up right off of the bullet. I just like using a lip brush too, it's kind of fun. Feels like I'm painting. And I'm gonna just use a little bit of a sweeping motion. The nice point to this brush also helps get in the corner of those lips like I was talking about a little easier and you can build up the color more. I always use my fingers as my cotton bud. Just don't touch anything afterwards. I've d made that mistake a few times. I like rub my under eye or try and fix my concealer and then I just have lipstick there. Don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. So you can really see when I'm doing this the brush isn't gonna be as perfect as like a lip liner would be, which is not what we're going for, so that's fine. But it's gonna give a little bit more definition than the finger did. At the end, I like to take the side of the brush, so the it's it lays flat and you can use kind of the side of the flat brush, flat part of the brush, and just kind of brush that over your lip line. Clean it up a little bit. So you can see using the brush, you just get a little bit more control, you get a little bit more opacity, and it's just a different look. 
All right, for this last lip look, I'm gonna incorporate a lip liner just to really switch it up. A lip liner can change the game of your lipstick. So this one's from Sephora Collection and it's the Retractable Rouge Gel Lip Liner and the shade is called The Red. So I'm actually gonna use this liner all over my lips. I'm gonna start with the perimeter and then I'm gonna fill the entire lip. What's cool about that is not only can you change the undertone of your lipstick, so say you have a lipstick that's a little bit more cool or a little bit warmer, you could put the opposite of a liner fully underneath and kind of alter your lipstick to be what it, you want and create your own shade, really. So I actually chose something pretty similar, but you'll see how much more opacity I get and also throughout the day, the longevity that a lip liner gives you. All right, so let's jump in lining. I'd like to start on the bottom, no rhyme or reason. You can do it wherever you want. The bottom lip is kind of the fun lip. Because your bottom lip naturally sticks out a little bit, you get a bit of a shadow underneath. So you can actually fake it out and overline a little bit. People who are afraid of lip overlining their lips, I always just say, just start right here, because it's so hard to tell. And then I'm gonna go up to my Cupid's bow and get that pretty little definition that we all love. While you're working, it's really nice to keep your pinky rested on your chin or wherever on your face. Make sure you don't get any of that lipstick you touched up with your fingers. But rest your pinky on your chin, it'll keep your hands steady. All right, now that we have our line, I'm just gonna go in and fill in like I would literally a coloring book. This formula is really good for this because it's gel. So it has a little bit more slip than your traditional pencil lip liner. You can see because it's a gel, you can kind of spread it around. I literally will wear just a lip liner as lipstick. Also, what's cool about this liner, it's gel like I mentioned, so it spreads a little bit easier, but it also means that you don't sharpen it like you do a regular pencil, but I love that about it. So it's retractable, so you can literally just twist this up, and then at the bottom, there's a little sharpener, and you can just real quick get a precise tip and then go back in, and it's always with you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go straight into the bullet directly on the lips. It has a very convenient tip for you. Lipsticks are shaped like that for a reason, so use that to your benefit. So pretty. So that's it, three ways to wear one lipstick. It's a really great way to stretch your luxurious investment to be able to use your most chic lipstick every single day. Let me know in the comments below which of the three lipstick looks you liked the most. I'm kind of curious. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.